just to show you guys what I know you guys have already seen this from me but I never really got up close and personal to show you guys the new updated tow links that go in the Explorers so if you get like a 20, 20 S63 I think it's called or 21 S32 the tow link now you see here is solid it's not adjustable here anymore they slotted the end out here so you can't do the old school collar design like these here the ones that you probably have in your explorers here the new updated design is slotted out here so when you get on the alignment rack leave this kind of tight while you're on the rack but when you drive down to the alignment rack like i gotta go down there and adjust it um, you can take a 21 millimeter and a 18 millimeter wrench down there and you can actually just while it's on the alignment rack on the floating plates you can actually just push your hand right here and bring it into alignment and you're gonna have to have one wrench on on this already hanging down so you can use this as your stop and then you'll have to tighten up with your free hand because it's hard to maneuver both at the same time or you can get like a helper or one of your lube techs or somebody like that or porters to actually come over and like grab the wheel and pull it and hold it while you guys kind of work together i do it by myself i don't need anybody to help me but um that's how i get these in alignment so let's go down there and i'll get it aligned and show you guys what it looks like once it's aligned same thing on the other side and how you get these out of here they're 111 foot pounds is what they're torqued to is that bolt right through the frame and then that's an 18 in the frame up here subframe and then this is a 18 bolt 21 millimeter nut so let's go down there and get the alignment done so basically here i'm just showing you what the readings are after i uh, switch out the tow links you see how far off they were and we can't do anything about the front unless the customer approves it so ford is only paying us to put the vehicle on the alignment rack and set the rear tow so if the front has to be done that's an extra half the charge of a normal alignment to the customer you see here i got 18 21 millimeter that's what i'm using to uh loosen the bolt that holds the tow link to the actual knuckle itself I'm trying to find a good spot where I can keep it so it doesn't fall off. It's hard to do it by yourself. The reason I'm voicing over this instead of actually playing it the way it is is because my coworker has have he's got a lot of loud music on in the background. It's extremely loud. So you can see as I'm loosening it, it's loosening some tension up on that, that bolt and I'm just using my hand right there. Now I'm getting the numbers to change. Yeah, it's kind of tricky with one hand. You got to loosen, move, loosen, move, loosen, move, and then eventually you start getting in the spec right where it's supposed to be. So you get the idea, you do the same thing on the other side. So let me uh, fast forward this to when I'm actually finishing up with everything. Because I don't think you guys want to sit here and see the whole entire thing. Especially when there's no audio or anything. It's just me voicing over. I'll let you at least see the one side because the other side is going to be the same way. There it's starting to get closer and closer where it's supposed to be. And then eventually a little bit over and then I have to readjust. This is me putting some tension back on it so when I do get it exactly where I want it, it's a little tighter so it doesn't slip out of where it's supposed to be. So now 
I'm going to tighten up and pull the wrench towards me at the same time to get that number to go back. Uh, it should be about 14, 15. See, there, with my hand, I was showing you I was pulling towards myself while I was tightening. That's helping me pull that tire back in. But I got it just a little too tight. <laughs> and then I realized, wait, you got to hit the back of the tire to get it to go where it needs to go. You're doing the wrong thing. And now I'm just popping the tire with my palm, and then it goes right to where it's supposed to be. Right on 14, right in the money spot, or the money shot. Tighten everything up. Do the same thing on the other side. Well, basically got both of them exactly where I need them. And now it's time for me to climb out from underneath this thing. Check the readings on the computer. If there's any kind of adjustment adjustments that need to be done to the front, remember that's the responsibility of the customer, not anybody else. So I'll finish doing this last minute snug, and let's move up to the computer. It's up to the customer now whether or not they want the front aligned. Ain't nothing I can do about that. Ford only pays for the rear, so at their mercy. And they only pay half of the alignment now because the rear is already done. Ford's paying for that. So while you're doing your 21S32, you can opt to have the front done for us, just a small fee instead of paying for the whole entire alignment because the back's already aligned.